In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a members area to your Squarespace 7.0 site. I'm in the middle of setting this up for myself, so I figured I'd hit record and show you how to do it as well. So if you go to commerce here and go to memberships, you can click add a membership and that will allow you to create your first members area. Now, something pops up to select a plan, but we're going to do that last. For now, we want to just create our members area. So come up with a name for it and you can come up with uh, some pricing for it. Uh, you can change those options later on if you need to, but uh, that's that's the first step. Now you can add pages to your member area. And so you see I've got this uh, launch challenge that I'm going to do. And so after people go through the challenge or each day, I'm going to add those those training recordings to this blog uh, this blog collection that I've got here and yeah so once you got that now you need a, a sales page for your member area so someone can sign up for it and so I've created this well it's not done yet but just to show you what you would do um, you'd create you know all of the the sales copy or whatever you've got on that page and then you add a a block there we go I'm gonna add a block and if I scroll down here member sign up and choose the member area I've only got one and then you click on design and then you can choose what options you want to keep or what you don't want to keep um, and there you have it that's that's pretty much how you set up that part all right now once you've done that um, you might need to go to your site styles and to add your customer accounts uh, thing because I just had to do that a second ago and to do that you go to site styles and just type customer up here and it's going to bring the setting that you need to change which is customer accounts link position so I've got it here in the top right uh, oh we can change the style too I can have that be text I think I prefer the text sign in or I can have the icon uh, and I could cha change this. I probably should uh, make it a little heavier. Yeah, I'm going to have to get back to that. <laughs> but for now, we're just going to rock with that. Make Sorry, it's bothering me. Okay, we'll leave that. We'll leave that there. All right. <laughs> I don't like to play with that stuff too much. Okie dokes. Um, and I would also need a, if I want to change the color, which I do want to change the color of these buttons. Again, I would have to go to my site styles and do that. Uh, now there's a handy dandy checklist here. So I've created my member area. I've added pages, I've created a pricing page. Um, my, my site is connected to Stripe and PayPal to receive payments. And then now finally I have to choose a a plan in order to turn my member areas on. And so uh, if I were to go monthly, this would cost me $120 a year for my one member area. That gives me uh, five hours of video storage. And I think that's just about what I need here is five hours of video storage. Um, but if I needed more, I'd have to upgrade to the core or the pro plan. And so if we do the math here, um, you know, you're paying or if you, you know, if you go the annual route, you save 10 percent and you end up paying seven dollars and 20 cents a month to have this member area. So, you know, as long as that's worth it to you, then it's worth it. And uh, and then you're ready to go. And so f so there's one more thing I want to show you. And if you click on the gear icon of your member area uh, there are some global settings which we're going to check out in a moment and then there's the access denied screen so this is when someone tries to you know directly get to your your gated content your member area content and they're not a member then they'll get this so this is what visitors see if they visit a member only page while logged out and you can customize this for every member area. I've only got one, so there's the one. There's the headline. I can add a 
unique description here and the join button. And then finally, if I go back now, if I track back to where I was and take a look at the global settings for my member area, I can see here's where I can create more member areas if I need to. I can manage members. Um, don't have any yet there. But when I do, and let's see what else we can do here. Um, and then here's some shortcuts to other uh, settings that might be relevant to managing your member areas like payments, uh, creating discounts, and your other commerce settings. And then here, finally, this is important. So your member navigation, um, you can choose whether or not you want to show the customer account panel or not show it. So I want to show it. Um, and you can manage what members see when logged into your site. So there it goes. All right. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, as you can see, it's it's not it's not that crazy to set up. It's actually rather simple. Uh, the, the part that takes time is just actually the content um, and creating and designing your pages or whatnot. All right. Peace.